Mimi nataka tukubaliane hivi. Sawa sawa. Na nataka vijana hasa munisikize vizuri. Mimi nasema hivi. Kila mwaka nenda miaka rudi tukifika mambo ya uchaguzi watu wanatuambia atitubadilishe katiba kwanza. Ati ipatikane cheo ya prime minister, ipatikane cheo ya viongozi, ikawane mamlaka. Mimi nimesema kabla hatujabadilisha mambo ya katiba my friends. Ngojeni kwanza tubadilishe uchumi. Ndio yule ambaye hana kazi apate kazi kwanza. Ndio huyu ambaye biashara yake ni ndogo tumpatie pesa ya serikali tuinue biashara yake kwanza. Ndio mkulima ambaye anaangaika, hana mbegu, hana mbolea, soko ni mbaya, turekebishe kwanza mambo ya mkulima, pe, mkulima aweke pesa kwa mfuko kabla hatujaongea mambo ya kubadilisha katiba. Ndio mimi nataka niulize nyinyi watu wa Migori na nyinyi watu wa Wendo. Munasema munataka tubadilishe katiba kwanza ama tubadilishe uchumi kwanza? No, mimi nataka kusikia kutoka kwenu my friends. Munasema twende tubadilishe uchu, tubadilishe katiba kwanza, wakawane mamlaka, wakawane vyeo, watengeneze positions ama munasema tubadilishe tubadilishe uchumi kwanza yule kijana hana kazi apate kazi kwanza. Huyu mama mboga kabla hatujashughulikia wale wa huko juu tumpatie pesa kwa sako yake kwa cooperative yake biashara yake inuke ndio Kenya ibadilike kwanza nauliza migori munasema tubadilishe katiba ama tubadilishe uchumi katiba ama uchumi wala wanakubaliana na mimi tubadilishe uchumi nione kwa mkono tunaelewana na mimi nataka vijana wa Migori munisikize kwa makini. Vijana mnanisikia? Ni jukumu ya serikali kupanga sera na mikakati ambayo itahakikisha ya kwamba kila kijana anapata ajira ama anapata biashara kwa sababu hiyo ndio jukumu ya serikali. Wale hamuna kazi na hamuna biashara it is because the government has let you down and that is why tunasema safari hii tunataka kuunda serikali itakayoanza na mtu ambaye ni jobless yenye mnanielewa we must have a government that starts with the jobless that thinks about ordinary people that starts with the ordinary business person and that starts with the ordinary farmer before we discuss matters of sharing power, matters of sharing positions, matters of changing the constitution. Yenye mnanielewa? Eh? Mawi njore? Eh? Eh? Hawa wangwana wanasema hata bei ya mafuta imepanda. Kwa sababu kuna watu hawajali na hawajui ya kwamba bei ya mafuta ikipanda mtu wa boda boda hawezi kuendelea na biashara yake. Nauli ya boda boda inapanda. Nauli ya matatu inapanda. Nauli ya kupika ina, ina, inapanda. Kila kitu inapanda. That is why I want to speak to the hearts of the people of Migori. Sisi tunaelewana? Mimi nawauliza kwa unyenyekevu safari hii. Na mimi nimekuja hapa makusudi, my friends. Kwa sababu nyinyi mnatujua. Si namna hiyo? Kwani kwa hii viongozi wote kuna malaika wametoka mbinguni? Si nyinyi mnatujua? Na mnajua sisi nani anajua kupanga nani hajui? Si mnajua nani yako na sera gani? Wenye kuamua ni nani ni nyinyi ama ni system? Ni 